this data is very personal. This is the problem where we run into, whether it's GPS, you know, location, whether it's your credit card information, whether it's you logging into a medical app or, or going to mint.com and logging into your bank account, mm -hmm. your investments, whatever it is in all of these, your sleep times when you wake up. Yeah. Uh, it's basically in a weird kind of way. It's kind of that data is kind of stalking you in what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? So this is where data consent comes because you wouldn't want a person following you all around your life every day and writing things down exactly what you're at 1231 they did this like a private investigator well it's you yeah know. or like the paparazzi like if you're yes. a moose are you get annoyed because you didn't ask them to follow you with the camera yes you know if you want to choose to be you know in a documentary and have people follow you sure that was your choice you consented to be on film you know and if, if we think about this the technology now is it's twofold you are defining yourself online you are generating information about you okay so by writing that and producing it, you're consenting to publish. That's one. But then there are systems which observe you, ones that you want to interact with or need to interact with, but they'd still need your consent to be capturing that information on you and identify it to you as a person. Yes. So both of these things have to be married to it. So specifically within our technology at Tartle, consent is baked into that model, into this thing we call the data packet, which is the storage mechanism that allows people to vault this information of them defining themselves, 